Greetings, Kogodians and humans. Jakara Priij, spread the love. Well, before we take our adventure today to Griffin Observatory, I decided to do a little check-in with you about my weight loss. And I hope you are doing well too. I'm doing very well. I've reached my goal of losing eight pounds, getting from 303 to 295. About 11 days early, February 1st is my deadline. So I am early on that. Every morning, uh, well, not every morning, but every few mornings I weigh Nick it on the scale, the human scale, and um, let's take a look, shall we? I hope you are doing well in 2022 with your health and taking care of your human body. If you have something to report that you would like to tell me, comment below on the YouTube. I will respond. Okay, on with the show. So I am heading to a spot on Western Canyon Road, which is in Griffith Park. And I have a mild parking anxiety that I may have mentioned before. It's not a crippling parking anxiety, but basically the long and short of it is that I'd like to know where I am parking ahead of time. So I believe I've worked out where to park. And if indeed this turns out to be true that I've found a good place, I will include the link in the description below on YouTube so that you can see where I parked if this is something that also interests you. So we are now in the park on Ferndale Drive and oh, there's a lot of parking that's taken up right now so maybe my plan won't work after all. This may work out. There's a lot of spaces here at this parking lot. I'm gonna have to walk a little farther to my trail but there's a lot of spaces here. I don't see any meters to have to pay or anything. Yeah, I'm very excited about this big parking lot here that I discovered on a satellite picture. Looks like there's plenty of spaces. So here we are. From there, that, that was right at the turnoff to the parking lot. Looks like it might be gated off at certain points. So, make sure we don't come back after sunset, I guess. Areas down here where you can picnic in the park. So, it looks like we have a choice here. It's, this is just past the, the bathroom and the playground. It looks like we have a choice to go via the West Observatory Trail or the East Observatory Trail. A little shorter. Hmm, hard decision. I thought I was going to take the west, but more people are on the east. Sometimes it's nice to have less people. Sometimes it's nice to have people you can ask questions to if you're lost. Let's take, let's not take the road less traveled. Let's take the road more traveled. <laughs> Just for today. You can see it right away. So started on some switchbacks going up and you can start to see buildings from downtown in the distance. Just across the way and on another path, you can see the Hollywood sign, which we had hiked to on another occasion. That was a harder hike, I gotta say. This one is easier by comparison and I might be in a little better shape too. So we come to a fork in the road. I'm assuming we're going to go up here. The left fork goes back to that West Observatory Trail. The right fork going up goes towards the observatory. Believe it or not, the main benefactor and champion of Griffith Park and the observatory was a man with a very odd name, Griffith J. Griffith. Yes, both his first and last names were Griffith. 
Can you imagine if my name was Clorg Clorg? That would be cool. Unfortunately, Griffith J. Griffith died in 1919, about 14 years before ground was broken for the observatory in 1933. But he is responsible for donating the land, and he made very specific plans about what he envisioned as a public observatory space. Leading astronomers and architects guided the design and construction of the observatory, and in May of this year, the observatory will celebrate 87 years of being open. Here we go. Not exactly a surprise reveal at this point, but the sunlight does make quite a picture. That is where you park if you drive up here. But there are millions of people that come here every year, so it might be hard to find a spot. Luckily, they accepted my Gagucian vaccination card, but I fear that I may have alerted the authorities at Area 51. The architectural design includes influences from Art Deco, Modern, with an E at the end, Greek Revival, and Beaux Arts. The observatory was never intended for research. It was more about public outreach. The observatory was closed down for four years starting in 2002 while it underwent some major renovations and added some new interests and exhibits. I'm looking at it through some glass. But you can still see the telescope. There are tours. take the stairs down. This other building seems to be closed at the moment. So we'll take the stairs down. That was really cool. And what style? So from the stairs you come right out back at the front again. But let's go back inside because we may have missed some stuff because we went straight to the observatory. This is where you queue for the planetarium show. There are currently three to choose from. The one that I saw about water on other planets and moons was wonderful and, I must say, very relaxing. Well, that was a lot of fun. I just did the planetarium show. Uh, I was not allowed to take pictures inside, but uh, it was a really fun show. I recommend it highly. Let's exit and walk down. I did want to get back to my vehicle by sunset, 
And there was also a little bit of concern that they may close down the park at some point. But with the sun setting in the west, it was also a, a wonderful time of day to take the hike down to my Jeep. That was super enjoyable. I highly recommend that to anybody who would like to go on a fairly easy hike. It's, you know, it is a pill on the way there, but it's not that far. I didn't find it as intense as the Hollywood sign hike. It is hard hiking uphill with 80 extra pounds, but it sure beats 88 extra pounds. And um, I dare say in a month, it will be even better having only 72 extra pounds. <laughs> Gravel is very slippery, just be careful with your footing. Well, it looks like we're coming to the end here. We'll turn to the right and go back up towards the car in the parking lot. We made it. We're here at the car. Since we were nearby, we decided to stop on Hollywood Boulevard. And we're going to see if we can see some stars and by stars, I mean stars on the sidewalk. Gucci's. Find some Earth movies and look up Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, there it is. Interesting, I thought it would be lit. Look, there it is, the Chinese theater, the men's Chinese theater. Well, you get the idea. I think they'll probably turn around. chance. I, I think I could pick the pick the bubble. I did metered parking uh, on North Los Palmas Avenue, which is off of Hollywood Boulevard, near the uh, Hollywood First Baptist church. I hope you did something wonderful for your body the last few days, your human body, and I will see you next time. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Coffee and some bread